an object of mass m k g attached to the center by a massless thread makes vertical circles of radius r at constant speed around the center at the very bottom at the very bottom the following forces act on the mass the tension a pulling force t is towards the center of the circle vertically up the gravitational force w equals mass times acceleration due to gravity is vertically down draw the free body diagram write the equation of motion welcome to hdtvedu.com direct and simple education in seconds you watch you play you pause you learn please do not copy our material thank you so isolate the non zero mass whenever we see any non zero mass isolate that non zero mass define the direction draw all forces acting on this isolated mass indicate the direction of acceleration if any so we define positive x to the right positive y is vertically up here is our mass m here is our mass m it is really at the bottom of the circle and then you have a radius of r it is moving around in circles at constant speed and you know that the gravitational force always acts vertically down so let's assume that this is the mass at the bottom so the gravitational force is always down what is acting vertically up the tension remember that the tension is a pulling force and it always acts away from the object away from the object what does that mean not towards the object but it's always away from the object and what will that be it has to be along positive y now the question is this do you draw the length of the tension arrow more than the length of the gravitational force arrow and the answer is yes acceleration is towards the center that means the bigger force has to act towards the center and so what is the bigger force the tension why because tension is the only force acting towards the center so to exaggerate it just a little bit we draw the mass and we put the tension pretty big and tiny gravitational force okay so you have a very basic idea that tension is acting vertically up and the difference is in net force so you say t minus mg is equal to m a where a is the acceleration towards the center whenever an object moves in a circle acceleration towards the center is equal to square of the speed divided by radius so your equation then becomes t minus mg equals mv squared over r what is t tension in newtons what is m mass of the object in kg what is g acceleration due to gravity in meters per second per second what is v speed in meters per second and what is r the radius of the circle in meters if you know that there are only two forces what are the possible combinations let's assume that one of them is tension the other one is gravitational force the gravitational force has to act vertically down so there is no doubt about that gravitational force acts vertically down what about tension tension is a pulling force and it always acts away from the object do not forget we are at the bottom point of the circle a direction away from the object it has to be vertically up so let's rule out situations in which tension is vertically down so that rules out c in a tension is up gravitational force is down whenever an object moves in a circle there is always a net force so that rules out b in b forces are equal and opposite so net force is zero now that brings us down to either a or d in a you have tension greater than gravitational force tension greater than gravitational force in d you have gravitational force greater than tension do not forget we are at the bottom point of the circle 
if we are at the bottom point of the circle and if we know that net force is towards the center that means we have to go for the bigger force acting towards the center in a tension is the bigger force and net force is acting vertically up towards the center of the circle in d net force is down remember we are at the bottom point of the circle that is away from the center of the circle away from the center so that rules out d because we have to have a net force that is towards the center of the circle that means a is the correct answer so you have tension towards the center gravitational force away from the center and net force is towards the center so tension minus w equals ma and whenever an object is moving in a circle acceleration is square of the speed divided by radius so we say tension minus weight is equal to m times what is a when an object moves in circles it is the centripetal acceleration and it is square of the speed divided by radius so to put it all together acceleration is towards the center that means the bigger force has to act towards the center what is acting towards the center tension what is acting away from the center gravitational force do not forget this is towards the center this is away from the center net force along the vertical by common sense is bigger force minus smaller force equals the difference and that is the net force at the bottom both forces are not in the same direction what are the forces we are talking about we are talking about the tension and the gravitational force at the bottom both forces are not in the same direction tension is towards the center gravitational force is away from the center acceleration is non zero it is vertically up acceleration is vertically up towards the center of the circle that force is non zero it is also up if acceleration is non zero and if it is vertically up net force will also be non zero and will be vertically up towards the center of the circle so bigger force tension force t is vertically up towards the center smaller force gravitational force w is vertically down away from the center and net force is mass times acceleration do not forget this is the acceleration towards the center what is the acceleration towards the center when an object moves in a circle it is square of the speed divided by the radius that is your acceleration mass times acceleration gives you the net force towards the center so at the bottom the equation of motion is t minus mg equals ma net force towards the center of the circle for an object moving in circles the acceleration towards the center of the circle is called centripetal acceleration if you go by the vector sum tension is tension is vertically up gravitational force is vertically down so you say tension is along positive y gravitational force is along negative y acceleration is along positive y so you get mass times acceleration do not forget acceleration towards the center is equal to square of the speed divided by radius so you get t minus mg is equal to mv squared over r so we get t minus mg is equal to mv squared over r so you get negative mg plus t equals ma or t minus mg equals ma where a is the acceleration towards the center of the circle so you get t minus mg equals mass times acceleration towards the center and what is the acceleration towards the center square of speed divided by radius so we get t minus mg is equal to m v squared over r don't forget it is square of the speed divided by radius so even by the vector sum you get the same result and this is george matthew signing off good luck